We're rolling. Hey, everybody. Welcome. I was going to say welcome to the Honest Bullshit channel, but we're not honest anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no, right. wait, wait. I got it backwards. We're not bullshit anymore. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. I got that backwards, too. We're all those things and more. I'm here with Dylan Sky. Hi, Dylan. Hey, good morning. How was your weekend? Oh, it was great. Yeah. yeah. How was yours? My weekend was good. My weekend was good. Cool. You know, the eclipse, we're at the peak of the eclipse right now as we speak. Yeah, that's right. I just got a message saying, this is it. We're at the peak of the eclipse, but it's still sunny outside. I think you have to be, like you were saying, in the East Coast to really get a better view of it. Yeah, LA is not really in the path of the eclipse. So yeah, we we're not in really the path. Yeah. We're off the beaten path here in LA. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I did see partial eclipse, though. I noticed uh, this morning I looked up at it for a few seconds and I could see a sliver of the moon blocking out like the corner of the sun. So, yeah. You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see a tweaker map. You know, they have all these maps <laughs> and it shows all the little dots on the map and all the clusters. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because there's places where whole areas tweak, right? Like the whole town's strung out and dying and sure, OD, yeah. Odin. What, I, I've seen stuff on YouTube about it, but it would be great to have a tweaker map, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wonder how one would track the various tweakers. Like, huh, how do you track that? I don't know. Crime? Mm. What else? All those good things that we promise not to talk about on this channel. <laughs> Here I'm leading us down the path of a, <laughs> yeah, I just want a tweaker map. I don't want to get all psychological, you know. Somebody else can <laughs> deal with the ramifications. I just want to know where I am, you know. Maybe the whole fucking map would just be solid dots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <coughs> Wherever there's people, so. it's all dots. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> There's so much to talk about, so much current events. Man, there's some shit today. It's scary, but I can't talk about it because we're, uh... no, we're not that anymore. But I'm not going to talk about that shit. I only want to have fun, you know? Good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we got to stick to what we want to do here. It's so tempting, you know, everywhere you look, it's just media, media, media. And everybody's talking about the same stories and, and they're like, <laughs> you turn on the internet you're just fuck fuck you know you're trying to get away from that shit but at the same time it's very intoxicating you know it's like it's like a, a you want to turn away from it like a bad car wreck or something but you also want to look you know it's like it's weird shit um yeah it's weird yeah Anyway, today is Movie Monday. I've got a, I don't know what we're tripping out here for. Uh, <laughs> I was just thinking about the universe and trying to think what is going on out there that we could talk about. There's very little that we can talk about, but we can talk about movies. Yeah, I like uh, that. I want to mention one movie that just it blew me away. I just remembered it over the weekend. I was thinking, what movies? I, I know there's some movies that really I thought were really good. And uh, there's this one movie I liked. It, 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 uh, it's called Hell or High Water. Oh, yeah. With Jeff that. Bridges and Chris Pine. And who's the other guy? Uh, uh, ben Foster. Ben Foster. Yeah. Man, that movie kicked my ass. It was good. Man. Nice. Yeah. Because it, it felt real. You know, like whoever did that movie, I wonder who directed that. It just felt like it felt good. It felt right. It felt like the person who was doing that had some understanding of that. Or maybe I'm just a gullible little movie watcher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it yet. But from what I saw in the screenshots of it on IMDb, it looks really oh, cool. This, yeah. Dude, it's great. Yeah. It's great. Anyway, that's my recommendation today, everybody. If you didn't see Hell or High Water before, see it now. <laughs> How old is I wonder when that movie was made. Uh, fairly recently. Uh, sort yeah. of recent. Yeah, let's see. Look at the whole way we talk about history now is pre-COVID or post-COVID. <laughs> right. Like that's, isn't that weird to just put a big big time stamp on our on our world you know right right yeah it was 2016 that this one 2016 came out. yep hell or high the water the good old days <laughs> okay <laughs> yep yeah yeah, yeah today's exactly. a good old day it's an eclipse i feel weird energy today does the eclipse make you feel weird like in some kind of horoscopic way you know? <laughs> this has got to be a special horoscopic event <laughs> Possibly, horoscopic yeah. <laughs> Horoscopitus. Astrological. Astrological horoscopitus. <laughs> I like that. 
That's that would be a name for somebody. Astra, Astra Horoscopitis. Horoscopitis. That's cool. Yeah, there you go. Horoscopitis. We like you, girl. Okay. So it was a director, David McKenzie, who directed Hell or High Water. David just, McKenzie? Yep, just verified that. Yep. It's got uh, all those great actors. We want to know more about that guy. He did a good job. Yeah. Yeah. It looks great. Wow. I'll check that one out for sure. I like trasher movies. That That's a good one. Mm. Just like that one about that girl. What was that girl? The, the, the girl who won the lottery? Oh, Two Leslie? Two, oh, man. That movie. That movie, straight out of the trailer park, that movie. you got to watch that movie, man. That one's good. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Well, speaking of uh, Trasher movies, I saw a pretty cool one, too, recently. This uh, weekend, did yeah, you see? Yeah, this weekend. It was called Mobland. And, did, uh, did, wait, did you watch it on your new TV? Uh, not yet, but uh, I that new TV, I'm still configuring. Uh, okay. uh, but I just okay. got it set up like late last night. Oh, but wow. uh, I got a chance to watch Mobland before. Tell me about it. And that was pretty cool. It's, uh, it takes place in the South, you know, the Deep South. Is uh, it a new one? Um, yeah, I think so. I think I've it's within the name. last couple of years. It's John Travolta. He plays this uh, kind of grizzled sheriff. And you have um, these other guys who play these brothers who end up um, getting involved in the, the mob by accident because they robbed some money from the wrong guy. And they're just trying to make ends meet, you know, trying to help their families, but they uh, end up getting in for more than what they bargained for. Imagine um, that. Yeah, so yeah, the, yeah. There, there's paranoia and drugs and crime and guns and violence. So if you're a Breaking Bad fan, you know, this is definitely in that vein oh, for sure. That sounds good. Uh, it's cool, yeah. There's cowboy hats and, and cowboy boots and John stuff. John Travolta yeah. is a Southern Sheriff? Yep, Southern Sheriff, yeah. You know, he's surprised me a few times because a few times he's been in a movie and I'll go, John sure. Travolta, you know, I think, no, yeah, I don't think so. And then I see the movie and I go, fuck. Yeah, exactly. And That's what happened. He's yeah. believable. You know, there's something about him as yeah. quanked out as he is at times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's fucking believable. Plus, he's unabashed, man. Yeah, yeah. He'll go from like doing that dance, you know, <laughs> right, right, right. To, to fucking uh, <laughs> this, you know, yeah. I mean, he's really like, it was cool. hats, hats off to that guy. He does. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I was like sold. who am I to say he does a good job, but he does. <laughs> he surprises me because I always, I always imagine he's not going to do a good job. Right, right. And then I see the fucking movie and he always does a good job, and I think, okay, yep, I give up. Yeah, I give up John Travolta after fucking forever. <laughs> I give up. You, you're the man. <laughs> yeah, I definitely <laughs> believed it. I believe the performance. Uh, it was pretty fun. And yeah, yeah. When I first saw the picture, I thought, oh, he's wearing a cowboy hat. I wonder how this is going to be. And it's like, oh wow, they did a really good job. They pulled it uh, off. The, yeah. the performances are great. The cinematography was great. It was a really well made film for sure. Yeah, suspense the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> how cool. Yeah, it was great. I was wondering, can we show clips on YouTube? Like, because I see people show clips of other people's videos and other people's YouTube shows. Other people show them all the time. Yeah. Everybody shows everybody else's clips. Can we show a little clip of a movie? If it's on YouTube, I guess we're allowed to, right? Whatever's on YouTube, we can show little clips of it. Yeah, it's just a matter of getting that. Oh, unless link. it's a pay per view. Mm. How weird. I'm confused. I need clarification. <laughs> Clarification. Right. It's I blame it on the eclipse, but I have to say I knew her sister. That's my standard joke. But <laughs> yeah. Clarification. Yeah, she clarified shit, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm unabashed. I watch too many movies, watch too many cartoons as a kid. What's your excuse? I watch too many cartoons. <laughs> Yeah, I what wish. were some of your favorite cartoons uh, watching this? Oh, a kid? you gotta realize when I was a kid, TV was like barely invented or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was pretty. It was, there was not a lot of choices. You know, I watched whatever there was, and there wasn't much. Yeah. Yeah. Did they have a uh, Woody Woodpecker? Yeah. That time? Yeah. Those kind of stuff. That yeah. Real mainstream generic cartoons. Yeah. But there was also Mad Magazine, not on TV, but. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Mad Magazine. Yeah, I have a yeah. great mag Mad Magazine. <laughs> yeah, I love Mad Magazine. Excellent. <laughs> I have a Mad Magazine story. I always have a story about everything. Oh, great! You know, the, in the since it's movie movie Monday, yeah. Uh, uh, Louis Bunel ha had a movie called The Discreet The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, mm, and okay. in that and in that movie, the bourgeoisie, no matter what you say, it reminds them of a story, and they just go into some story, <laughs> like. And that's how they relate. Like yeah. what, I'm say, what I'm saying is, that reminds me of when I was in you know Paris and whatever. Yeah. And so. Yeah. Uh, the Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie. It's a good movie, good movie worth yeah. seeing, yeah. And the guy was like 70 when he made it, Bunel. He's a famous oh, okay. director guy. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I actually went to the the premiere of that at Filmex here in Los Angeles. At the it was that was the big LA film festival. It was called Filmex, Filmex. back in the day. Oh yeah, that's right. And uh, I went there. I was I was so blown away. I just thought, oh, that was so cool, you know. Wow, nice. Anyway, I thought, how can this old seventy year old guy do that shit? And he was so old. They brought him up there. He was like old, you know. <laughs> I'm fucking seventy eight, and I'm thinking back on how old he was, you know. <laughs> right. He was like they were like helping him out there, and he was just like you know, shuffling along. And I'm thinking, oh, fuck, is that me? Am I shuffling along? I don't, I don't know, man. Sometimes. <laughs> I think, oh, fuck. <laughs> but I was going to tell you something. The discreet charm of the bourgeoisie. Hmm. Oh, and then you were saying something that reminded me of something. Oh, okay, yeah. Fuck, what was it? Um, what were we talking about before I sidetracked? Uh, let's see. You were reminding me of something. Uh, it wasn't the movie I was talking about, right? It was after. It was right after that. Right after that. That's what happens, people. Yeah. It's not even Wednesday yet. Look at us. Yeah, <laughs> it's Monday. It's the eclipse. We blame it on the eclipse. Our mind is like the, the planets are not aligned properly for us to make any sense today. <laughs> yes, yes. Anyway, this is how we feel today. The eclipse, the eclipse is making us do whatever. Man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wow, that's fun, man. I that's like great. this shit. That's good thumbnail material. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thumbnail. Uh, <clears throat> fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. It was so important. I did that whole speech about whatever to to lead up to that, but I forgot the punchline. Um, well, maybe that in itself is the punchline. Yeah, yeah, there's the punchline, everybody. I'll think of it like next week and blurt it out. You know. <laughs> oh, remember, Bubba? Um what else were we going to do today? There was something else we were going to talk about. The eclipse. Oh, Thursday we're going to the uh, to this boxing thing. Mm, that yeah. would be cool. Yeah. That's great. I look forward to that. Um, I don't know if we should uh, film what, something over there and put it on the show later. Uh, I don't know. We can take a camera. What, what, what about... Um, the other movie you saw, you told oh, us yeah. about one movie. That's right. Yeah, I saw another movie. It was the new Nick Cage movie that came out called oh. Dream Scenario. Dream Scenario? Yeah, I wanted to check that out because the Have I seen the premise, ads for that? I think so. Yeah, it's been getting a lot of advertisement around on the various streaming or whatever. Fuck. Uh, and anyway, I, uh, I thought the premise was amazing. It was really intriguing. You know, all of a sudden people start dreaming about this guy and... It's kind of a comedy. They start dreaming about what? Uh, about about Nick Cage's character. He's like this, uh, you know, just kind of a average uh, college professor, kind of a nerdy guy. You know, he's got a family. Uh, they did a, f a good job with the the balding prosthetics and the makeup. They they have him like with the hair on the sides and the bald head. It's a funny funny looking character for sure. And uh, is it a comedy? Yeah, it's a comedy. It's funny, but it's also kind of dark, and uh, it takes some dark twists and turns. Because in, in the beginning, it's fun because it's like oh, everyone's dreaming about him. He's getting famous. People want to interview him because people he doesn't know are dreaming about him in, in their dreams, and he just shows up in their dreams, kind of passively standing in the background, kind of strangely. He doesn't interact. How does he wind up there? It just happens. It just—it's this bizarre phenomenon. They have no idea how it's happening or what's causing it. So he doesn't it. So know that nobody he, knows. Yeah, he has no idea. He, he's like, I'm not sure why everyone's having these dreams about me. Does he know when he's in the people's dreams, or do they just? Have, uh, he, is he just in their dreams. Is he aware that they're? They reach that, out to him in the afterwards. Yeah, afterwards. Yeah. But when he's, he doesn't know he's in there. Then when he's in there, right? He's right. Just yeah. Yeah, he's just normal. He's and a normal guy. He's in their dreams. Yeah, and he just pops up in their dreams, but he has no idea what is happening in those dreams until they come forward and start messaging him on Facebook. And what do they tell him he's doing in the dreams? So in the dreams, at first, he's very passive and he's not interacting with them. He's sort of standing in the background while some something scary is happening. But as the movie progresses, the dreams start getting darker and darker and worse and worse. And Nick Cage is appearing in these dreams as like a killer and like a really vile, terrible guy and everyone starts hating him even though he didn't do any of that in real life you know he's just an innocent guy but the like whole country hates him and he becomes like canceled in a way you know he's oh he's in he, a zillion people's dreams oh he's in a zillion yeah he becomes famous like it's a nationwide phenomenon and everyone's, he's in everybody's dreams everybody's dreams oh, everyone's fuck, freaking out man. like who the hell is this guy why is he in all our dreams um but it gets darker and darker and kind of scarier but don't it, tell me the punchline sure yeah i won't tell you what happens but but yeah it's cool you got to check it out it's, yeah yeah that sounds good. very bizarre that's a new great. release yep brand new yeah fuck yeah. man <laughs> cutting edge movie reviews right here everybody yeah i, I thought it was good I, it, it really interesting <laughs> we only talk about stuff we like here yeah. That was another thing. When we started doing this, we, we talked about that. Yeah, that's right. And and um, I like that. Yeah, talk about stuff we like. 
What else? There was something else. Mostly hell or high water, man. Wait till you see that movie. Yeah. Yeah. McKenzie directed Hell or High Water? Yeah, correct. Hmm. I gotta know more about that guy. That's a good movie. Um I don't know what else to say. Maybe the eclipse has cleared our mind like like a solar flash. It cleared my consciousness. Return me to reptile form. I used to care until the eclipse came. What made you do it? The eclipse. We could go, we could just go do something really heinous right now, and then when they ask us why, we just say, I don't know. It's, it all came together like this, you know? I started acting out, I was afraid. It was fear. <laughs> fear motivated. I'm learning. <laughs> I've been watching all the news and shit for a couple of years now. Mm. I'm afraid. <laughs> 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 no, that's really funny. It's funny. It's funny. No one admits they're afraid. <laughs> yeah, let's all start admitting we're afraid. What are you afraid of? <laughs> I'm afraid of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Not anybody else. Anyway, <laughs> we can start the fear channel and the human suffering channel, all, 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 all the auxiliary channels off of the Lee Michaels podcast. Like, you know how people start their other channels? We'd have the human suffering channel. The, anyway, all those weird channels, you know. Yeah, nice dreadful channel. <laughs> yeah, ba the bad news channel. Today's <laughs> bad news. You get it out of the way really fast. Okay, here's the bad news. You want it now or later? You could you could be on the now or later subscription plan. Yeah, you subscribe to the bad news. We know you don't get enough bad news. Subscribe now for all the human suffering you will ever want. <laughs> it's the eclipse, folks. I blame it on the eclipse. Anyway, what do you think, Dylan? What's new? I'm not going to put you on the spot. Don't that, answer that question. That's right. I, uh, those two movies were the main uh, topics that I. Uh, covered for they both sound Monday. good yeah i saw those recently so that's the latest on I my see my film watching yeah yeah <laughs> man who do you think's gonna win the mike tyson jake paul fight mm, i definitely think tyson uh could and should oh yeah, we talked about this before yeah uh, that's right we mentioned that in one of our previous podcasts being manipulated by the media <laughs> we're talking about the same shit as everybody else <laughs> That's almost not worth talking about that fight. That's what a non-fight it is. Yeah, I look forward to it when it comes. So, I'm going to see yeah. it. Yeah, of course. It's in a couple months, right? Or next month? It's fucking July or July, something. July, yeah. That's a long time away. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. a couple more Tyson months. Tyson could die by then. He's an old guy. <laughs> Get those white clots. We won't talk about those. For bit. I'll get banned from YouTube. Um, I want to... Tell you what you guys could do if you want to help us here at this channel. You could press the like button on the especially on the ones you don't like. <laughs> That's the fun of it, man. You press no when you mean yes. Keep everybody off balance. Um, how many subscribers do we have now? I wonder. Hmm, good question. Let me uh, check that out. Let's see. Oh, we uh, went down too. We're at 112 now. <laughs> We're going down. We're now at 112, everybody. That's really funny. There's something I find very humorous about this. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Are we supposed to have more than 12? <laughs> I mean, more than 112? I think we were at 114 last week at some point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we hit a plateau. We flatlined at 114, everybody. <laughs> we're not, yeah. <laughs> anyway, what else is there to do, right? Lots. You know, we, the idea is we just walk in and do it. You know, we don't spend any time before or after, very little time after, just enough to put it on the air. Yeah. And, and we walk right in and just shoot from the hip. 
Yep. Because anything else, it would be like a job, you know, like go and just like gruel for hours. <laughs> I hear what these people are doing. I go on, the, I go on YouTube and I see their story of, of what they're doing, and they're saying they work sixteen hours a day, you know, and they, and they're like, uh, they yeah. got, all these people and they're all grinding up, and I'm thinking, wait a minute. I don't want to grind. I just want to run my mouth for a few minutes and then right. ride my bike down the boardwalk. Yeah. Yeah. Eat a cheese boy or a fish sandwich or some shit. Um, movie Monday. Maybe we've talked enough. Yeah. Maybe this should be a short day. Sure, yeah. We're over 20 minutes now. So We are? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, time flies. Time flies when you're saying nothing. <laughs> no, actually, I thought those movie tips were valuable. This was good. I liked it today, yeah. There was some yeah. great movie exchange today, yeah. It came with our shit. Yeah. Hell or high water. Yeah. But, you know, oh, you can press subscribe if you're not subscribed. Oh, we can find out how many people actually watch it. We have less viewers than subscribers. That, that's, that's some kind of like a... <laughs> <laughs> That's the reverse of everybody else's reality. Most people have a zillion viewers and less subscribers. Mm. We have less viewers and less subs and more subscribers. That means the people that are subscribed aren't viewing. <laughs> yeah. So we got 112 subscribers, you know, <laughs> and 67 are viewing. I love statistics. They're like put you in your place. <laughs> We started at the bottom <laughs> and remained there. And remained there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Started this from the bottom fun. still. Talk here. about rejection. You get to get here every day. How's our subscribers doing? Well, we have two less than yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We're dealing with such huge numbers here. Yeah, what happens numbers. when we get more than we can count on our hands? <laughs> oh, big kitty. We need we needed you here. Where have you been, man? The <laughs> podcast has been going on without you. Hello, big boy. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Go away. <laughs> Look, he just came right up and tried to bite me. He's telling me long enough. Is this is this funny when you have an animal that comes right up and tells you, okay, the pod the podcast is over. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, he's great. I know what you want to do. I can see you. Go bite Dylan. <laughs> Go bite Dylan. Call a kitty, Dylan. <laughs> hey, kitty cat. Come on, Orange. 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 Dylan wants to see you. Come on, little guy. Come here. Come on here. Go right. I'll come bite cool. you. Thank you. There we go. Come on, little guy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. See that? Okay. Look, he looks at my hand. He's perched now. <laughs> He's going to get, hey, little boy. <laughs> Anyway, this is what it's like in animal world. Now everything feels better, man. The cat knew everything was off balance just now. <laughs> right. You can right. feel it, man. Come on, guys. Get up, get in the groove. So he jumped up here and told us, snap out of it. Yep. <laughs> snap out of it. Wake up. It's Monday. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Great. Bye, big kitty. <laughs> bye. Oh. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Okay, everybody. Dylan, it was nice seeing you today. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, great movie Monday talk. I had a movie blast. Movie Monday. I'm going to watch those movies, man. Nicolas Cage, I like his ass. Yeah, so just good. to remind it, it was uh, Hell or High Water. It was Mobland and Dream Scenario. Those Dream are the three scenario. we covered today. So, yeah. I think I saw an ad for Mobland. It was good. It was way better than I thought. So good. I highly recommend it. That's I a, loved it. Like we were saying, every John Travolta movie is better than you think it's going yeah, to be. Yeah, totally exceeded my expectations. It was really cool. He, he pulled it off, and I bought the, uh, the performance for sure. I wonder if he'd like to have 107 subscribers. <laughs> 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 anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is fun. I'm going to run my mouth. Hope you're here. Um, Great. Don't forget there's no control like out of control. So here we go. Three, two, one. Bye, Dylan. Bye, Lee. Poof.